Hello YouTube, this is Degenerate724 here, again, trying to do a review, trying to do a review of my, um, Motorola Razor, Droid Razor, uh, just a little frustrated right now, cause, one, the 4G keeps going out, and two, it's, uh, I keep mi making mistakes, so, let's hope I get it right this time, huh? Alright, let's get, this, get into some of the specs. While I turn this on for you guys, uh, you want to buy this on a two-year contract. It's gonna be paying. You're gonna be paying um, two eighty-nine ninety-nine on a two-year contract, and about six hundred forty-nine ninety-nine on a full retail. Uh, you got yourself a four-point-three inch Super AMOLED Advanced Display with a QHD resolution of nine sixty by five forty. Um, Personally, I think it's one of the best displays out there. I th when I first got this, I thought it was gonna be pixely and looks like the Droid Bionics, but honestly, at, I, when I first got it, it surprised me. This thing is so crisp and so clear. It's so beautiful. Honestly, I think it's one of the best displays out there right now on any phone. It does have uh, Android 2.3.5, and it will receive ice cream sandwich early in, in, in early 2012. Do not know which quarter or what month. So, uh, you got a 1780 milliamp hour battery. You cannot remove it because it's all in, it's stuck inside. And you get up to 12.5 hours of talk time and 8.5 days of standby. So that's pretty good. Battery gets you does get you through the day. Overall, much better than the Galaxy Nexus, in my opinion. Um, you can customize this little section down here. I, 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 because I don't think it comes like that. I think the camera's right there and something else and whatever. Um, it's not that I don't give a fuck or give a crap. Sorry about that. Excuse my French. It's just I'm tired and want to get this redu review done for you guys. So, <clears throat> all right, you got your four capacitive buttons, your menu, home, back, and search, in that order. It's got a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor, so one gig of RAM and uh, 16 gigs of internal memory, with a 16 gig micro SD card, which is right here in this little slot. This part is in this little section right here is the SD card, and right here goes the micro SIM. That's right, a micro SIM, not a normal SIM like the Thunderbolt or anything like that. So, uh, it's got eight point, it's got an eight megapixel camera. Ten, it takes 1080p video. Um, my opinion, it's it's a pretty good camera, one of the best out there. Uh, but I'd rather I'd rather take the uh, Resounds camera, honestly. But this comes in a close second, you know. And the 1.3 front front facing camera, and it takes 1020p video. Again, I take the Resound over that, over the camera. But I like this camera too, so. Um, let's go over some of the design, um, you got yourself a diamond cut Motorola symbol right there, above the earpiece, there's the H HDMI port, and the USB port and the headphone jack, on this side is the power button, the volume rocker, nothing on the bottom, but a little microphone I think. I don't know, I can't tell what that is. Uh, the little slot for the micro SIM and the SD card. Camera, LED flash, speaker. Here's the Kevlar backing that I was talking about. Uh, and the Queen Gorilla Glass, of course. So this phone thing, does it not only does it look sexy, it's built real good too. Because I dropped it, and to prove it, I dropped it once. Um... So in the little section right, I think right there, I can get it in the light. There's a little chip. I dropped it on on pavement. No case on, no nothing, and there's no scratches on the screen, no nothing like that. Still looks perfect, almost perfect. So, uh, let's see. Let's get into the phone right now. Um, as you can see, oh my 4G's down again. <laughs> yeah, 4G's been down all day, guys. So. 
Um, looks real good. Uh, it is it is fast. I I know when I use it, it's it's fast. Like boom 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 boom. Really good. Um, you can customize this. Apps. There you go. A lot of apps. A lot of a lot of them I uh, installed myself. But uh, you know, your, your task manager and your Google Talk and Twitter. I think I no, I installed Twitter, but I, that's what this is. What I have, you know. Um, on installer, you know, I like this app because you can on install all the stuff that's uh. Well, uninstallable. <laughs> so, save you some RAM or memory. VZ Navigator, I don't use that. I don't know why that's there. Uh, what's that? Oh, video surf. Video surf. Not oh, crap. Um, what's that right there? Oh, that's word. That's the Words Waldo game by uh, Game Loft. So. I wish 3G. Uh, I wish 4G was up, but it's not. But I'll tell you. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'm gonna give you the results of what I did yesterday. I did a I did a test yesterday, and then I'm gonna record another video, doing a side by side speed comparison, probably between this and the uh, um, Galaxy Nexus. So, all right, all right. Here's the uh, results. Um. I did I did the uh, speed test for the razor. Oh, that's the. Uh, come on. <laughs> There's a keypad. You can do it. Text it like this or like this. But I prefer like this. So. Anyways, I did a a speed test on the razor, and I got twelve point thirty six megabytes download and 3.82 megabytes upload and the Galaxy Nexus got a much better 15.96 uh, download and a 8.26 upload yeah like I said, like I said uh, is this 3G again? yeah like I said it's been off and on all day so I apologize folks uh, for a quadrant for the Razor, I got a 24.38, and the score on the Galaxy Nexus is. It, I don't think the Quadrant is optimized for the for the ICS or Ice Cream Sandwich. It got a 15.75, so I'm always getting piss poor scores on that phone. Uh, for Smart Bench, I don't think anyone uses Smart Bench, but I do. I got a 35.27 on the Razor, and a 35.01. On the Galaxy Nexus, so it's close. Um, and Tutu and Tutu was also close. For the Razer, I got a 59.96, and for the Galaxy Nexus, I got a 60.13. So I mean, overall, they're both fast phones, and it's pretty equal. You know, in their own certain way, in in their respective ways. So. But yeah, I just lost 4G again, so if it's up by tomorrow, I'll probably do a speed test tomorrow. So, but yeah, this is the review of the, of the Droid Razor. It's definitely a good phone. I would give it about, I give it mm, probably 9.5 out of 10 stars. Um, it has, I mean, it's got, you know, it's, you know, it's buggy a little bit, not too much. Nothing that irritates me, nothing like that, so. So yeah, it's a good, good phone overall. I recommend it. Um, all right, guys. Like I said, I do apologize for the not being a perfect video, but it's good enough. So.